right, welcome back. We can continue live right here on Pittsburgh CW. Bob Pompiani with you. Uh, stick around. KDK TV News at 11 with Paul Martino begins in about seven minutes from right now. In the meantime, let's go back out to the lines. Mark in Brownsville is next on the hotline. Hey, Mark. Today. What's up? Hey, you was talking about that KC uh, Tennessee game, and you did say Mahomes is very hard to stop. Yeah. But if Henry gets that 180 yards, he's running, and Mahomes is sitting on the bench watching him. So I'm feeling That's, pretty good about that. That sounds good, except that, like I said, first of all, Henry has been terrific. Three straight games over 180 yards rushing. It's never happened before. To right. expect a fourth is expecting too much. And I think Kansas City will figure out a way to slow him down. And they'll score enough points, which will force Tennessee to have to throw the ball more than they want to. And I think that will lead to problems. Well, that's a good thought, but I just feel if Henry's having a good game, Mahomes is watching on the bench and he's not true. out there throwing. That's absolutely true. Time of possession is big. Thank you, Mike. Or Mark, I appreciate that. Let's go to Pete in Squirrel Hill. Hey, Pete, what's up? Bob, how are you tonight? Good, thank you. Hey, Bob, anybody that says Alex Ovechkin is a better hockey player than Mario Lemieux doesn't know the difference between a hockey puck and a Tessero's hamburger from Bloomfield. It's that <laughs> simple. But talking about Lemieux, Bob, I don't know if you're aware of this. Mario Lemieux has two NHL scoring records. Wayne Gretzky has 65. If you don't believe me, Bob, I know. ask Mike Lang, who's been doing hockey his entire life, and he'll tell you about that subject. Thank you. I know all about it. I know how good Gretzky was. It was a different time, but as one of our previous callers said, they didn't call penalties nearly as much as they do today. They, they were allowed, and I'm going to tweet a video for those of you who are wondering about the goal I was referring to in Quebec City, I'm going to show you what it is. And keep in mind on the play, no penalty was called, despite what happened, and yet Mario Lemieux did score. Uh, that tells you all you need to know about him. Let's go to Jack in Castle Shannon. Jack, how are you? Yeah, hi, Bob. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for calling. If, I've been, have you been watching any of that uh, pro football, uh, that 100 years uh, program Centennial. on TV? Yep. They did the quarterbacks today, and I'm going to tell you what a disgrace this is. They put. They mentioned Roger Staubach, and they mentioned Elway. Brad Shaw was never in the picture. Yeah, I saw the panel never too. Never even mentioned Staubach, and I Brady, saying, and I'd Favre. I'd like you to address this, please. Well, I, I, you ask at a time when I'm out of time. I only have 10 seconds, so I can't do it. We'll try to pick it up again tomorrow. But I agree with you. He should have been on that panel. In the meantime, that's going to do it for me. Check us out tomorrow, right here at 1035. In the meantime, we'll have all the highlights coming up at KDK TV News at 11, which starts in about two minutes from right now. Good night.